got a clown already, thanks. Yeah, and he's standing right in front of me. <sighs> Out of my way! I'm missing my favourite TV show for this party. There better be jelly. It's mine! <gasps> no cake until after the clown. Oh. Where's the jelly? Henry, have you got Peter's birthday present? Uh, yeah, it's upstairs. Chocolates? Yeah. They've all disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Peter gets a load of this. <laughs> Here's your present, Peter. <laughs> You be so horrid. Now, inside everyone, the clown is about to start. Oh, goody, 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 yippee! One more trick like that, and there'll be no cake for either of you. No cake? No cake. Now, come inside with the others. <sighs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> hey, kids, <gasps> I'm Colin the Clown. <laughs> Where's the birthday boy? <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's a lion. Get it out of this room. I don't do lions. Why not? Let's just say I had a bad circus experience. Right, well, now for some magic. <gasps> oh! Very good. <laughs> now for some cake. <laughs> cake! This up! I want my cake! My next trick is the amazing disappearing milk! <laughs> 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 the milk is gone! Oh, it's okay. Look, I found it for you. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. But I didn't do anything. For my next trick, we have the amazing vanishing banana. <laughs> now I shall make the banana vanish. Does anyone know where it went? Yeah. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> now can we have cake? Not until the show is over. <laughs> How clever you are, Henry. How would you like to be my assistant? What? For the Box of Bewilderment! Ooh. I shall now attempt to make this clever little boy disappear. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, lovely. Step inside. Oh, all right. I'll do anything for cake. A la Kazam! <laughs> Silly me. That shouldn't happen, should it? Let's try again. Abracadabra! <laughs> One last time. Big bang, biggly boo! <laughs> Here is our time capsule. Who will 
to be the first to put something special in it. Margaret? Oh, football boots, cos I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Carries a message to the future. Margaret smells. <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now. Bury it when the rain stops. What is it, Henry? Can I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes. In a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Buddy anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Bunny's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. This will take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. Any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my buddy. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> You have got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Henry! Breakfast! Oh, Henry.
Henry, want to help me mend this? Um, no. Why am I not surprised? Selfishness must be deplored. Goodness is its own reward. Best boys always pass the test. Best boys better than the rest. B E S T. Best boys. Hi, Henry. Do you want to join our club and be a best boy? No way. How long is your stupid meeting going to last? All day. We've got lots of gold stars to give out. I bet you have. <sighs> I need to borrow a suitcase. OK. I'm running away. Hey, wait here. Oh, a map would help too. Grizzly grub box. Dungeon drink kit. Goose shooter. Mr Kill. Day glow slime. Uh, what else? Ah! Comics. Gotta have something to read when I'm not fighting lions. <laughs> Bedtime, Henry! Come on, into bed. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm. Well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. <laughs> Hope they go to bed early. Henry? No, I'm running away. And if you ever, ever tell anyone, you'll be sorry. Understand? So, um, what are you doing? Thanks, Worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. And don't call me Worm. Yeah, it'll probably take me all day. Right. Anything in my room. Fluffy, go away. <sighs> huh? Fluffy, go home. Hmm. Let's see. Brilliant! Henry! Margaret! What are you doing here? I've run away from home, if you must know. No, you haven't! I've run away from home! No, I have! Haven't! Have! Haven't! Anyway, this is my treehouse, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't, can, can't, can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh! They'll find out we're running away. Or well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It is too. Isn't. Anyway, I slept here all night. Where did you sleep? Hey, that's my running away food! <laughs> Not anymore! All right, I'm eating some of your running away food. <laughs> no toothbrush, no clothes, no food, nothing but toys. It's so easy being me. I'm Right, 
then. Yes! But don't be horrid, Henry. No, Mum, I won't. I'll be really, really horrid. Nick's parents let him get away with anything. Make sure the kiddies are all in bed, because it's horror gore and midnight movie time. This is gonna be great! Now, Henry, I want you on your best behaviour. I don't want any midnight calls like the last time, or the time before that. Come and pick up your son! 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 And the time before that. And the time before that. And the time... Hey, Dad, I got the picture. Best behaviour now. I mean it. I don't want Nick's parents phoning me to come and get you. Mother, she's just warming up for the monthly opera karaoke. Hi, Henry. Oh, ignore them. They think they're really cool. Your parents are really um loud. Yeah, they call it expressing yourself. I like. I make my own rules. Cool, in it? Cool. You're really lucky. Yeah, except breaking your own rules isn't that much fun. <laughs> Meet my kid sister, Lily. Oh, with you, Henry. <laughs> You're my first sleepover. So, um, what do we do now? Let's raid the kitchen. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> um, where do we start? Where does your mum hide the biscuits? Here, catch. Um, thanks. This isn't exactly like a real raid. Oh. You want me to hide them? Miguelito, give that back! Sorry about that, Henry. Uh, maybe later. Oh. Yes, 
Uh, sort of. I'm still leader, of course. And I'm second in command. But you can be next in charge after that. Wow. I'll do it. But there's no time to practice. Oh, don't you worry about that. Can I buy rats? Here I come! <laughs> <laughs> well, my horrid heroes, today's the day. Yeah, the day we're going to win. And you are going to come last. <laughs> yeah, last. <laughs> what if she's right? What if we do come last? Oh, relax. I've got it all sorted. Those Killer Boy Rats tickets are mine. Good afternoon and welcome to this, our first talent competition. Our first act is... Al, who's going to try and beat the school press-up record? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Come on! Do your stuff! Eight, nine... Al? <laughs> Uh, well, next we have Brian's brilliant brain. Ask me a question, anything at all, and I will know the answer. Who invented the telephone? Easy, Alexander Graham Bell. What's the capital city of Portugal? <laughs> Simple, Lisbon. Who gave Lazy Linda the answers in last week's math test in return for a big bag of sweets? Uh, well, I... Hmm. <laughs> Me! I did it! I want a word with you! <laughs> yes, well, there goes Brian and his brain. Um, the next is Margaret and her ventriloquist's dummy, Susan. <laughs> I say, why do ducklings walk softly? Cos they can't walk hardly. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to say that bit. You were supposed to say, I don't know. Well, I didn't, did I? <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> Too good. Then let's give the audience something to really laugh about. <gasps> what are you doing? They're about to... Drop out of the show! <laughs> oh, say something then, dummy! <laughs> that was really horrid, Henry! <laughs> oh dear, and now is the moment we've all been dreading. Uh, please accept my sincere apologies for Henry's horrid heroes. Two, three, four. Now! And you, Ralph. Henry. 
when I'm king, I'll show Moody Margaret who's... who's... king! Henry, stop playing with your food. <gasps> Henry? You've already lost your pocket money for one month, Henry. We can make it two if you don't start behaving now. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Bunny. Oh, yuck! <laughs> Margaret! Ah, get it all! Margaret did this, Peter. Why don't you tell Mum and get Margaret into trouble for a change? Tell my guest. I couldn't. It's bad manners. Bad manners? You're a wormy worm. She's in there snooping through all my stuff. Eureka! That's it! Yes! Margaret is our guest. If she wants to snoop, then it's my duty to make it easier for her. Tomorrow is going to be the return of Henry. <laughs> What? Stop it! Stop it at once! Oh, for goodness sake, it's six o'clock in the morning. I always wake up at six o'clock and I always practice before breakfast. Fine. Then let's go downstairs and I'll make you breakfast right now. All clear. Operation Bye Bye Margaret is a go! Ugh! Girl stuff! In my room! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing! Um, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm just writing in my diary. Diary? Oh, I didn't know you had a diary. It's secret. My secret thoughts. Not to be read by the likes of you, which is why I keep it in this box, which I lock with this key. And that's where it stays. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have teeth to clean. Once a snoop, always a snoop. <laughs> Dear Diary, I'm really, really worried that she's going to put Peter in the rubbish bin. Hmm. Peter would never tell on a guest, so I'd be blamed and really, really punished. <laughs> My life would be over and it'd all be Margaret's fault. <gasps> When I said your wish is my command, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Uh, what are you going to do? Tell? I could never tell on a guest. Huh, good. Watch your fingers. Oh, over here. Don't forget this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Henry's going to get it. Oh. <laughs> Operation Bye Bye Margaret, phase two. Email send. Henry, have you seen Peter? Yes. He's gone to live at the dump because he's rubbish. <gasps> Peter! 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 It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Out of my way, worm. I'm taking Mum and Dad their juice. But I always take them their juice. Too late, slow goat. Oh, you haven't put something horrible in it, have you, Henry? No. Open the door. Oh, I can take it in for you. No, let go! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. 
Go and get something to clear up this mess. Hey? Can I come with you, Dad? I love going to the supermarket. Of course you can, Peter. Out, Henry! That's not fair! You're taking Peter! Why can't I come? Because I remember the last time you came shopping. Cucumber? Tomatoes? Salad? Dad said I could push the trolley. You did it last time. Dad! Henry's being mean! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's OK. Peter can push. I don't care what... What did you say? Peter can push the trolley. I don't mind. Are you feeling OK, Henry? Fine, thank you. Um... Well, well done. Well done, then. Being good is really hard work. Hmm, I don't know. How about leek and broccoli? Um, yes, but Mum likes spicy parsnip. Fine. Henry, we need baked beans. I know where they are, Dad. It's OK. I'm on to it. Possibilities. <gasps> Henry, don't. Oops, nearly forgot. Henry, what are you doing? Get down from there. It's okay, Dad. I've got it. Lunchtime. Peter, can you...? Lay the table? Yes, please. Why can't I do it? Well, I want to lay the table. All right, Henry, but don't break anything. I always lay the table. Let go! You let go. OK, have it your way. Thank you, Peter. What a good boy you are. Henry, sit up properly. I am sitting up properly. Oh, so you are. Well, don't slurp your food. I'm not slurping. I've eaten all my carrots. Good heavens. Henry, what a good boy. Oh, I've eaten all my carrots too. Mm. <sniffs> Peter kicked me! Peter? I know what you're doing. You're only being good so you can go to the fair, but it won't work, so there. Oh, no? No, because sooner or later you'll do something horrid. You always do, smelly. I forgive you. Mum, can I do some gardening? You? Why? To be helpful, of course. Well, um, there is one job needs doing. It's so easy being me. I'm I want wealth before I'm old. I want coins that I can hold. I want banknotes I can fold. Too many rhymes. Write that out 300 times. Next. Ha! <gasps> and... Now read us your poem, Henry. This'll really gross him out. This poem is called Better Out Than In. Pyra 
Pirates puke on stormy seas. Giants spew on top of trees. Blah. Kings are sick in golden loos. Dogs throw up on daddy's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Babies love to make a mess down the front of mum's best dress. Thank you, boy. I think you've made your point. Oh, but I haven't got to the good bit yet. Obviously. You still have bathing, up-chucking, gagging, retching and regurgitating to go. Now sit down. I threw up in a boat once. I threw up in the car. I threw up on my teddy. Silence. You will all stay for detention after school is finished. Oh. Now it's time for the next lesson. Music. Follow me. Looks like I'm going to have to turn things up a notch. Can anyone tell me what music is an expression of? Music is an expression of who we are. That's right, Brian. Now, I want each of you to pick up the instrument in front of you. Silence! Double detention after school has finished! One at a time. Susan, you first. What is it, boy? There's something wrong with my tuba, sir. It is not letting me express myself properly. Hmm. Maybe you're not blowing hard enough. I think it's blocked. I can't see anything. <sighs> You're right, sir. I wasn't blowing hard enough. You horrid boy! I was just expressing myself, sir. Head mistress's office, now! Keep playing! Do something, Henry. Today, I've got to deliver all the posts to all the teachers. Here's the tray of post, Peter. Now, do you know what you need to do? Oh, yes, Miss Lovely. Oh, Peter, congratulations. Being school messenger is an important job. I'm sure you'll do it splendidly. This is for Mr. Nerdon. Thank you, Miss Oddboard. Miss Lovely, uh, may I have a moment of your time? Ah, oh, Henry, why am I not surprised to see you? I'll deal with you in a moment. Peter, you may return to class. So, when do you have to deliver everything in that tray? Um, just before lunch. Ooh, I'm going to be the best school messenger ever. Just before lunch, eh? Perfect. A triple detention, is that all? No discipline in this school. That's the problem. Sit down. Over there. No! 
got... Worm-faced turnip head. Now I have to start again. That's not very nice. <sighs> Nobody calls me a worm-faced turnip head and gets away with it. Toys up, Henry. Someone could hurt themselves. How did she know I was here? Yes! Did you get everything for tea? No! No funny disaster! No 200 pounds! Not much time left! What am I going to do now? Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! Angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. And action. Come on, Peter. Pedal. Pedal. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is just what I need. Are you okay? <gasps> Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Prissy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit? Well, she's my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. <laughs> hey, hey. Come in, come in. Oh, <laughs> Not really. She meant Peter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Henry, come in! wants to do a video of your visit. Isn't that sweet? Oh! And I haven't even had my hair done! <laughs> Action! <gasps> there! Ooh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Just keep coming this way. One. It is so two, lovely to be here with my uncle three, and my aunt and my adorable four, little cousins. Five. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> they won't look nice on you. Don't be hurried, Henry. Mum, the shoe department's on this floor. Can't we just have one little look? Henry, I don't know how you can ask for anything after that disgraceful episode. I have never been so embarrassed. But, Mum... 
Does Madam require some assistance? Yes. These trousers, are they hard wearing? Oh, yes, Madam, and they're available in all sizes. Perhaps both your little boys would like to try them on. I'm not wearing the same trousers as him! And anyway, they're for girls. These trousers are specially made to be worn by boys and girls. Ooh, how practical! <laughs> Don't be worried, Henry! Behave yourself. Go and try these on. Another pair. <laughs> Would Madam like them wrapped? Uh, oh, uh. Yes, thank you. Peter! Henry! We're going! Hurry up, Henry! Henry? Attention, shoppers. If anyone has found a very horrid boy, would they please report to the information desk? yourself. It's ridiculous. I can't take my eyes off you for a minute without you getting into trouble. <laughs> Again, if you should find him, please report to the information desk. Wonder how this works. <laughs> I have just about had enough of you. What more? No ifs, no buts. We are leaving right now. It's so easy being me. I'm And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready! And I never win anything. Henry! Uh, choo! <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, poor Henry. Oh, well, I expect you'll live. I don't 
don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh, oh dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Oh. Operate? <laughs> <laughs> We both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. <gasps> and don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. <laughs> Peter, your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! It's so bad for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible. Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm. Are you sure you won't have one? <sighs> Take your places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I, um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start. On your marks! I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No, this way! Ow! Ow! Oh, this is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh. And Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you follow me. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this, Henry. That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> So easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! I'm not staying in this dump! Henry! Steve! That's a very nice second-hand jumper you're wearing. At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mum! He's got a goo shooter! Give me that! While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself. I won't put up with any mischief. Ow! Get it off! Get it off! I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. Yo! <laughs>
or up here in the attic. <laughs> I bet you're scared of the dark. Course not. Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts. Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> pa! Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here, Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? It was a night like this when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh, dear. Not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe. Just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything. Except injections. by now, so I know you'd love a pair of big girl's pants. <laughs> I'm a boy! <laughs> what? You think I'd be seen dead in pants like these? Uh, no, uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, go away! Henry! Uh, Margaret! Who let you in? Your mum. Where's my dungeon drink kit? I want it back. Oh, uh, it's, um... What have you got behind your back? Me? Uh, nothing. Show me! It's nothing! Ah! Ow! Phew! <laughs> your dungeon! 
Food and drinks kit. I knew it was somewhere. Thank you. By the way, Henry, they're going to get you tomorrow and I'll be watching. <laughs> tomorrow is another day. Ninety-one plus twenty-five Don't we're is. Get you. You'll have to catch me first. Henry, face the front. <laughs> <laughs> last week. He said my teeth are perfect. No, remember, Peter, you had a terrible toothache this morning. When? Ow! See? He's just trying to be brave. Oh, poor you, Peter. You better go. This isn't the dentist. No, this is more important. I've heard bad things about you. Well, not that I walked across the story carpet. Worse than that. Embarrassing things. I've heard you wear baby pants. Baby pants? No, I don't. Look! <coughs> Daffy Daisy pants. They're the most babyish of all. If anyone finds out, you'll be laughed at. Oh, no. What can I do? Give them to me. I'll hide them until we get home. But what will I wear? These. But they're the pants Great Aunt Greta sent you. You said you wouldn't be seen dead in them. Uh, that was yesterday. Today they're cool. It's so easy being me. I'm Just the sort of thing that never happens to us. It's always other people, but now it has. Oh, I know. Mum, how many TVs has the Queen got? Yes, isn't it exciting? Peter's going to meet the Queen! <gasps> What's all the fuss about? I bet the Queen's not making a big deal out of meeting Peter. Huh? Oh, I'd die of embarrassment if my dad put up a flagpole in front of our house, Henry. It's not a flagpole, it's just a pole. Get the Union Jack from the cellar, please, Henry. <laughs> it's a flagpole. 
We're going to have a proper flag-raising ceremony to celebrate Peter meeting the Queen. This is so embarrassing! Flag Henry, now! Oh, you're doing it all wrong! No, I'm not. OK, fine. Make a fool of yourself. Well, how do they do it, then? Are you sure this is how you greet the Queen? Yes! If you get it wrong, they'll lock you up in the tower. No! And then they'll sharpen their huge axe and... Mom! Henry says I'm going to get my head chopped off! Don't be horrid, Henry. Where's my flag, Henry? Just getting it, Dad. Dad, is it true that they chop off people's heads in the tower? Yes, it is. That's why they call it the Bloody Tower. Uh. Now look what you've done! will see your painting when she visits. What is this? It's my portrait. It's King Henry the Horrible. Henry, you are not of royal blood. Oh, yes, I am. You see, Peter isn't really my brother, and Mum and Dad aren't my real parents. <laughs> he just followed them home from the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the zoo. <laughs> Henry, I think you're overlooking one small fact. Yeah? What's that? There were no royal children born in the same year as you, Henry. No, I'm never going to find out how many TVs she's got. Are you sure you're sure, Mum? Yes, Peter, I'm sure. The Queen wants to meet you. She doesn't want to send you to the tower. out this evening. I don't like my hair! <laughs> Stop it, Henry. I think you've upset Peter enough. Come on, Peter. <laughs> oh, OK. Bye. But you can't do this to me! It's, it's like burning Santa Claus from Christmas! Mum and Dad are always complaining that I'm not nice to the work. But when I try to improve his image, see what happens. <sighs> no Halloween! 
How unfair! Shot! Tickle the treat! Tickle the treat! Great! Everyone else gets treats and they get to play tricks. Tricks? Eureka! That's it! You're allowed to play tricks on Halloween. Mum said Henry couldn't go out, but I'm not Henry anymore. I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> Henry! Henry, turn the music down! Henry, turn the... I can't hear the telly. If you want to listen to music, use your headphones. And don't make me come up here again. Yes! See, now he won't come up here unless I make a noise. Operation Halloween is a go! Trick or treat! There you go. A sensumer? Give me a real treat or I'll paint a big X on your door. Will you? Yeah, it was Henry's idea. Naturally. In that case, I think I can find you some treats. Here, you can help yourself. That's more like it. How could he give away my sweets? costume looks like a Christmas tree and those heels make her wobble. Let Mrs. Taylor get me some toffees. I don't like toffees. Wanna swap? <coughs> oh, what was that? <gasps> <gasps> Ralph! Is that you? I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> Avengers Night of Terror has begun! <laughs> a measly box of raisins? I say we toilet paper them. Oh, do you think we should? I don't know. Ah! I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> That's not a real monster, is it? I don't know. Give me all your treats or you will drown. No way! Hit mine! I don't want to drown! Ah! ah a bonus! Me. I dare you to challenge me! Okay, 
I challenge you. I declare that today will take place a series of challenges and dares to decide which is the pre... the... the pre... Min, the pre... Mient. The best? The best! The Secret Club! Hooray! Or the Purple Hand Gang! Hoorah! Let the battle commence! Did she twitch? Um, uh... Oh, can we get on with this? She's going to scream! No, she isn't. <sighs> so, what else have you got? <sighs> One point to the secret club! Last chance. Are you going to say my club is best? Your club is... Pond scum! <laughs> can do Not anymore. Oh. One point to the purple hand gang. Hooray! Ready? Ready. Ready. Ready? Ready. Oh, we're all ready. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. numbers, then multiply the answer by this number, then divide it by this number, then speak of the lady that Take this, alien math monster! <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Maths never hurt anyone. Yuck, yuck. Beep, beep. We will win out. <laughs> you saved us! Well, someone had to get rid of the maths monster. Henry? Henry? Henry! Are you listening to me? Now, which of you deserves a brave badge? Uh, me, miss! I saved us from the maths monster! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
As I was saying, we'll find out tomorrow who is brave and who is not. Because tomorrow is... Injection Day. Injection Day? No! It's only an injection. It's not like it's major surgery. Silence, worm. Don't be nervous, Henry. Ha! Nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's only an injection. That's right. It's just a few centimetres of needle jabbed into your flesh. <laughs> and the winner of the gold medal for javelin is... Henry! Oh, wait. It appears we have one more contestant. <laughs> and then they pull the needle out and... Henry? Henry? <laughs> Henry, time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Why ever not? Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burned down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Ooh, the pain. Ooh. Poor Henry. I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. <clears throat> You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <clears throat> And you'll get to sit in the big boys' class. So? You'll get maths homework. Oh, <gasps> goody! I love maths homework! Um, but if I'm you, won't I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. Better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. 